Experiment three, density of saline solutions. Calculate the percent composition of sodium chloride. Now, uh, there are a couple different ways to denote the percent composition of sodium chloride. Here is a very typical way. Percent sodium chloride mass by mass. That refers to the fact that uh, it is equal to the mass of sodium chloride in 10.00 milliliters, our sample size, divided by the mass of the solution. So mass of solute over mass of solution times 100%. And we'll do the denominator first. So we've got our mass of 10.00 milliliters of solution. That's based on the subtraction that we did up here because this was mass of solution. What's a little trickier is the mass of sodium chloride in 10 milliliters. Now there's 4.97 grams of sodium chloride in 50 milliliters. It was actually 50.0 milliliters since we were using a graduated cylinder. And we had a 10 milliliter sample. So in order to get the top part of this, we have to use what's called a scaling factor. And there's actually going to be two scaling factors here, one for the more concentrated solution which is the top set of data. And I'll go over the one in a minute for the more dilute solution. For the more concentrated solution, we know that there were 4.97 grams. In 50.0 milliliters. Now, we're interested in the mass of sodium chloride in 10 milliliters. And what we'll have to do is we'll have to cross multiply to find our X. X will be our grams of sodium chloride in 10 milliliters. Let me multiply this out. 4.97 times 10 divided by 50, 0.994. grams of sodium chloride in 10 milliliters. Uh, and now we're ready to do this calculation. Let me see if I can squeeze it in here. There should only be three sig figs as two of the numbers have the smallest number of sig figs there at three sig figs. But then, then my answer here will have three sig figs. Divide by 10.67, multiply times 100%, and I get 9.31, uh, well, I'm going to keep 5.8 percent sodium chloride, mass by mass, and then that only has three sig figs. So once I get through my averaging, I'll end up carrying that through to get my three sig figs. So that's how you do a scaling factor for the more concentrated solution. Let's talk about at least how to do the scaling factor for the more dilute solution. And in order to know how to do a scaling factor, you always have to think about how you made the solution. We actually took 10 milliliters of our more concentrated solution and diluted it to a total volume of 50 milliliters. So our, we have 0 0.994 grams from our first, this was in 10 milliliters of our more concentrated solution. So 10 milliliters more concentrated solution it was also in 50 milliliters of our more dilute solution. Okay. So now when I put this over 50 milliliters, it's because there was only 10 milliliters from before. I know it's a little confusing, 
Hopefully it makes sense. Ask your instructor questions. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this, and I help a lot of students with it. But then, from there, out of our 50 milliliters of solution, we actually only took 10 milliliters of that each time. And so we're taking approximately, or exactly one-fifth of that, 0.994 times 10 divided by 50. Zero point one nine eight eight grams of sodium chloride, only three sig figs, so underline that third sig fig, and then this will be the numerator for your calculations involving percent composition of your more dilute solution. Again, it's a little bit tricky, um, but ask your instructor for help, ask your instructor to make sure that you're doing it correctly and uh, hopefully everything will work out well.